Hi everyone, that's Reefer here, and uh, welcome to this latest video. Today uh, we're going to uh, discuss a, a growth uh, update uh, of the fish, the corals, and uh, well, that's it for today. So, no very specific subject, but it just I noticed that uh, some of the corals and some of the fish had grown significantly over the past few months. So I thought it was uh, nice to give you an update on that. So let's get started. First things first, I got actually a few comments about this, uh, this, this uh, leather coral mushroom. Um, it, it doesn't look that good and I agree when you look at it right now it does, it does look a bit pale, especially if you've seen it for the past three videos, it does look like this. The thing is, somehow, yesterday, the day before yesterday, it was looking perfect, with the polyps extended and all, and then I knew, just knew, probably on Friday it will uh, have its day, and yes, again, it's uh, it looked like this. So, don't, don't be afraid, it, it looks perfectly normal during the week, but somehow on Fridays and Saturdays it looks like this, so... Don't worry, it's going to be fine. So to start off right here, um, this is one of uh, one very nice uh, Rhodactis that I got off uh, whitecorals.com a while back. I think it was called a purple grizzly Rhodactis something. And it has, uh, well, it has split into two, so now there's two. Which I really like because, uh, yeah, I, I like the overall look of it. And of course when... Uh, when they start multiplying, that's always good. Then this Euphilia, where the Nemos, uh, the, the clownfish are hosting, is also uh, started off with uh, just one head and now there are four. So, uh, good for them. Then of course, like I told you in the, the video last week, the Zoanthus, which are actually always growing, so it's, it's a little less special to show you these, but still, it's nice that they uh, that they multiply at all, but uh, it's not not as special as some other corals because they, yeah, you kind of expect them to grow, to multiply. And I think I've showed you this one before, but also this orange Rhodactis, which I've had for nearly three years, finally made a small one underneath. So that's all also very nice to see, especially uh, some uh, uncommon corals which. Uh, which started to start growing or start multiplying, it's always uh, very nice to see. So then there's this uh, this one, I've also got asked about this, so this is a Cinellaria dura, but since the color is pretty spectacular, at least in my opinion, uh, I got asked uh, quite a few times if I can frag it by, people, by local people who want a piece of it, and I, I don't feel comfortable yet doing that, and I also know that it grows very slowly, so it has about doubled in size in the course of well over three years so it, i've had this one for a long long time and it just grows very very slowly but then again <clears throat> i really like it and then there's this stylophora which is actually one of the biggest growers that's in my tank i bought this as a frag uh, if I, I recently saw a picture of about one year back where it was very very small and you can actually also see that on the bottom of the stem that the original frag is starting to 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 wither because of a lack of light of course but then again that gives the uh, the area above it uh, room to grow as you can see it's doing quite well it's nearing the uh, edge of the surface, as you can see. So uh, just uh, a few more months, I guess, and then uh, I'll have uh, a new challenge of uh, keeping it uh, beneath uh, the water. But then again, I can. Uh, it's still attached to this rock, so I can still move it around if I want to. This is the frag that I uh, originally bought. Then of course this uh, this sand sifting fish has grown a lot. It's also because he's quite active around the, the entire tank. Has grown about twice in size in about a year. 
the also of course the uh, hepatis the, the blue tang has also started growing it's still relatively small but it used to fit in between the stylophora that i just show you so it would just dive in between the branches of this one well as you can see right now that doesn't fit anymore so i think it is about not yet doubled in size but nearing it in i think four four months three four months then there's corals that actually don't grow a lot but they still extend a lot so they might seem like growth but they're still they're doing fine but they're not growing like this goniopora which perhaps i can show you it's always a little bit hard here at the bottom there is a part where it's uh it has died off but that's happened before i bought it so it was already like this it's a bit hard to see but you can see the the structure on the bottom which with the holes in it that used to be a piece of the coral and um yeah al although this coral is doing fine it, they're not fast growers the only one that i've actually seen grow is this one this red one and um what's hard to see now but in, in the base you can really see that the flesh is expanding and that's very nice to uh, to see so goniopora's generally not fast growers but uh they're showers not growers as <laughs> as they as they say um same applies to these uh, uh gorgonians the especially this one the, the yellow one um i'm happy to keep it alive um it looks awesome at least that's my opinion the yellow bright yellow color in the tank is really something uh, something else something other than uh, than usual so that gives it a nice contrast but it's not really growing it might be just a little but keep, just keeping it alive is uh, is hard enough although this is one of the somewhat more easier um, gorgonians to have uh, in the category of uh, photosynthetic uh, gorgonians because since this is not very photosynthetic this requires food uh, phytoplankton other foods of sources of plankton food to uh, to grow to thrive and then there's this montipora which you might have seen in my last video i didn't really get into it but montiporas are also uh, happy growers this one uh, right here I've had this species of Montipora for a long time in various shapes and forms and um, well it's it's just doing fine same applies to the red one the red one as you can see has started growing into the uh, the branching one on the back which is also a Montipora so I'm not too worried about it but as you can see they are uh, growing into each other they're not hurting each other and the same applies to uh, this uh, Milipora which is one of the pieces that I like a lot in my tank uh, although I don't have many SPS this uh, this Milipora is, uh, is one I particularly like because it's steadily growing and then there's a Montipora Superman at the base which is and they are also also battling for uh, for position but they're uh, they're holding steady right now so no no worries there so that mainly was corals, so a quick round for the fish, the fox face, ever growing, huge tank, eats a lot of food, eats a, eat food out of my hand, everything, uh, very, uh, very uh, hungry fish, I think once I need to catch it, it will be a very easy catch, since it just flies towards any food source that's added to the tank, either in my hand or in a net. And then to finish uh, finish the video, there's this uh, uh, this spotted drum, Equatus punctatus, which uh, I covered in one of the latest videos as well, and that has just grown uh, tremendously in the past year. I think it's a little over a year now, and uh, yeah, it has matured really well. So as you can see, the tank is uh, uh, growing, thriving, uh, no issues there. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the update. So I'll see you in the next one.